right, I'm going to talk to you now about graphing on a coordinate plane. And this here is a coordinate plane. And the way the coordinate plane is set up is it's kind of like latitude and longitude that you're learning about in social studies, or it's like battleship where you have to match up points. Well, on a coordinate plane, this which goes left to right is called your x-axis, and what goes up and down is called your y-axis. And all points are written as an ordered pair, and there's a parentheses around them, x comma y. So the very first number that you see is your x. The second number that you see is your y on the coordinate plane. So for example, let's say I asked you to graph the point 3 comma 4. Okay? You always start here at the center, and that is your 0. And if you think about it, you've got two number lines here. You've got your x number line, where this is 0, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And then going this way on the number line, you've got negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on going this way. With y, this is 1, 2, 3, and then going down, you've got negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. So on a coordinate plane, you always graph your x first and then your y second. And I always kind of think of it like you've got to walk to the elevator before you can get on it to go up or down. So that, that might help you remember to do this one first before you go up or down. Um, so for x comma y, for 3 comma 4, I'm going to start here. I'm going to go over to 3, 1, 2, 3, and then I'm going to go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this here is the point 3 comma 4. And if it had a letter, you would put a letter next to it just to kind of name that point. All right, let me give you another one. All right, let me give you the point um, negative 2 comma 1. Okay, again, we always start from the center. So from negative 2, I'm going to go to the left 2. I'm going to go left 2, 1, 2, and then I'm going to go up 1, which is right here. All right.